Oh, sorry, I was looking for the bathroom. I shouldn't have left the door open. Sorry if you're grossed out by this. No, 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 I'm just not used to seeing corpses that big and not in a toilet. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Ah. There you go. Now you're all set for your big day. Thanks. You know, I could use some part-time help here preparing the bodies if you're interested. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. Meg, I'm needed upstairs, so I'll let you finish up. Just put some blush here and here. It makes the eyes look a little less dead and hollow. Wow, that really works. Hmm, maybe I'll try that on myself. Oh, uh, you have what we call a closed casket face. Hey, Meg, who's your date? He looks like a real stiff. <laughs> Chris, what the hell are you doing here? I told you not to bother me at work. I got locked out of the house and I need your key. No way, you get to work with all these dead people? Hey, look, this guy's picking his nose. <laughs> look, now he's eating it. Chris, knock it off. You're going to get me in trouble. Meg, they're dead. Would you stop being so uptight? You're like one of those Asian Americans who fought in Vietnam. Ah! Oh, it's just me. Meg, the Dugan family called, and they now want Mr. Dugan in a gray suit for the wake tomorrow, because it so matters. Could you change his suit, please? Sure. I'll be back in a bit. Oh. My. God! All right, Chris, where is it? And don't try to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Fine, you caught me. So I borrowed your bra. My boobs hurt when I go down the stairs. No, not that, you idiot. Where is the dead body? I know you took it. And don't lie, or I'll tell Jennifer Connelly that you're the one who's been mailing her those dog heads. Well, yes, I'd like to mail this to a whore. Okay, fine, Meg. I used the body to get me into R-rated movies. After that, I took him swimming, and he fell apart. Chris? Mr. Dugan's wake is tomorrow, and there's going to be a body in that casket. If it's not his, it's going to be yours. Hey guys, what's going on? And no one says anything, which means they hate it. Meg, the family's here for Mr. Dugan's wake, so could you please bring in the body? Meg, I'm not doing this. You have to, Chris. Siblings have to look out for each other, like the Mannings. Eli, you threw for three touchdowns today, which isn't bad, except Peyton had four. Well, Cooper got pre-approved for a Visa card today. Come on, guys. We all had a good day. Stop it! I have an itch! I don't care. Dead people don't scratch their balls. Well, I can't help it. It's these damn wool pants. I'm going bananas. If I can't scratch them, you have to. Shh. Just, uh, straightening out his pants a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Scratch it. Scratch it. Oh, thank you. Hello, I'm Helen Dugan. My husband had filled out an organ donor card before he passed away, and a woman just lost her face in a freak accident. Meg, though you cannot tell, I am frowning. <laughs> 